class president, Howard Gordon. Thank you, Steve. It's a pleasure to be here tonight. 45 years later, I want to thank you again for voting for me. <laughs> Best job I ever had. Isn't that the uh, only I job? I have no business to conduct here. Uh, if anyone knows how to get in touch with Howard Mullins, Howard oh. Mullins, he was a year ahead of us. Now see me after, uh, later on, let me know. I'm looking to put him in touch with somebody who needs to find him. So thank you for that. Um, let's see, uh, I, have a, I wrote some stuff down I don't want to forget. Oh, you know, I'm surprised. My pants are really tight. <laughs> I wish, I wish I was the weight I thought was too fat when we were at the last reunion. <laughs> Pirates won today. That's good. Times are changing. Oh, I have to put my glasses. Okay. Um, it's my honor and privilege tonight to welcome back perhaps the best, the brightest, and most beloved teacher that I think Alderdice ever had. For those of you not lucky enough to be one of her students, she taught speech, drama, advanced placement English, and was the director of our senior class play. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Lenore Musson. Oh dear, <laughs> I am so grateful to be here. <laughs> At age 84, I came here. I, I just feel so contemporaneous with you. It's just unreal. Uh, it's sort of a, one of these uh, surreal moments where I'm not sure uh, what time zone I'm in. <laughs> and um, I, I just love seeing seeing you, and, and I wish I had had all of you in my classes. and. Um, and dear, dear old Howie, <laughs> who contacted me originally and got me to come to this, um, I thank him very, very much. And his, his charming wife, Jeremy. We're Jeremy. We're Jeremy. What a darling. Uh, thank you for having me, and uh, I, I just love being here, and uh, I hope I see you again very, yes. very soon. Thank you. class was famous for our school spirit and we once took a very stale and dry cut and dry kind of procedure and we injected it with some some talent and some life and we had a good senior year so much so that the classes that came after us remembered us and tried to equal us and some of the most spirited people from that group of course were the people on the reunion committee so I want to thank them for all of their work To say to you all that it's fun being the figurehead, but if you want to know who's really been your class president for the last 44 years, he's sitting right there, Steve Sablowski. Yeah. <laughs> all right. On a personal note, on a personal note, I wanted to say this to you guys. Here we all are at 63. <laughs> Except for Bonnie Pasikoff, who must have fucked the devil because look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. Alright. Shut up. Right. I'll behave, I'll behave. I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my clothes on. So Coming home, this is especially probably uh, a, a message for those of us that came from out of town to be here tonight. Coming home, I'm changing planes in Phoenix. It's 100 degrees. They've got us packed in here like sardines. The plane gets up in the air, I'm going home. Shiver chills my heart. I'm on that flight again. The one to say goodbye to my mother. The one to say goodbye to my father. 
My eyes moisten. Shit. I don't want to cry on the plane sitting next to the guy reading deer hunting with Jesus. <laughs> I'm going home. My mom is gone. My dad is gone. Even the home is gone. The house was sold a long time ago. I'm staying in a hotel. But I realize I'm still coming home. Looking out tonight, I know your face. And after a while, I remembered your face. <laughs> and I know your face. You know, I know all your faces. Even if I don't know your name, I know your faces. I saw you all in the hall for five, six years. <laughs> I remember all these faces. I saw them walking in the halls. I sat in the classes with them. I saw them walking the streets at Forbes and Murray, which was once the center of the world. That's right. In your faces, I realize that you are my home now. And it's good to be back. We're all puppies from the same litter. It's good to see you again. You're my home now, and I'm yours. Even if we don't know each other's faces, we belong to each other. We give each other home. So, as my dad told me many, many years ago, forget the bad, remember the good, Welcome home.